Hey guys, what is up? My name is Eric Olson and Xavier are coming to you live once again from Central Florida. Coming really quick just to record a quick intro video to this free for all. I was playing a, a live stream actually using weapons and setups, class setups you guys chose, and I got to put this game together. It's actually kind of disappointing because I have a giant Moab fail, but I figured, what the heck, I might as well share it with you, plus some good commentary. I hope you enjoyed the commentary, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope that this intro looks all right. I actually just finished recording the Call of Community 2 announcement video from this location right here. I changed shirts though, I'm a lot more comfortable now, and I'll talk to you guys later. See you later, bye-bye. Hey guys, welcome back. This is a free-for-all game on C-Town, and as I mentioned in the intro, this is a giant just horrible Moab fail mixed with a bit of an interesting gameplay because I'm playing with a class that the stream chose for me, Sleight of Hand Pro, Assassin Pro, Steady Game Pro, Kick with a, I believe a Scorpion Extended Mags or just a Scorpion, I don't even remember, but a Scorpion and a P90 Rapid Fire. Now, uh, first off, this is a pretty darn good class. You know, I, I don't usually play, in fact, I don't think I've ever played with Assassin as my second perk. I love Quick Draw way too much, but this actually worked out pretty well for me. And, you know, Assassin, in my opinion, is kind of a cheap perk, but I can see why people run it. This definitely uh, kept me alive a lot in this game. And you're going to see me get two off of a Moab, which is as close as I have come 11 times now. I've been two off of a Moab. And uh, that's pretty darn infuriating. So for those of you, if you've been living under a rock or don't watch Modern Warfare 3 videos normally, a Moab is 25 kills with your gun. And by that, I mean 25 kills with better aim than I just had right there, because my aim is pretty atrocious in this video. However, I keep getting two off of that because when you have Hardline Pro on, it's 24 kills, and I just keep failing hardcore. But as you guys will see here, I do go on a nice streak. It's kind of fun to watch. But that's not what I want to talk to you guys about. I want to talk to you about something that's actually pretty important to me and that you're going to be possibly thinking about in the near future. Now, some of you guys already have a team. Some of you already know exactly what to do, how to get a team, etc. You've already got your friends list full on Xbox Live or PSN. You play with people every time you play. But many of you probably aren't. I've actually been meaning to do this video for quite a while because when I first got into watching YouTube videos, the most annoying thing to me was watching people like Onslaught play with an incredible team of players and knowing that, well, I didn't have that team. I didn't know where to find that team. I had no idea what to do to get a team that could play like their teams played. Because I remember watching an Onslaught video of Modern Warfare 2 of them playing and just the callouts were impeccable. Everyone's talked and let you know where things were going and where people were running, and they had a blast doing it. Plus, they never lost. So with that in mind, I wanted to take a couple of minutes here just to let you guys know how I found a team before I got on YouTube and what you can do to do the same. So first and foremost, if you want to, you can go into free-for-alls just like this. Now what I usually do is I look for natural communicators, people who like to talk. Now in this gameplay, there are a couple of people who like to talk a lot. And these are not the kind of people I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll leave up the volume enough so you can hear a couple of them talking, but there's one guy who just won't stop talking. And he's not saying anything, he's just talking. Oh my god! So, keep that in mind, you want to find good communicators, people who communicate effectively. And that's something that you can do. Look at this aim, that's just atrocious aim. Ah. So bad. I try to pre-fire, you know, make sure I get the kill, but that, that's, that's just embarrassingly bad. Regardless, as you guys can see, finding people who communicate in free-for-alls are pretty simple to do, and what you'll discover is that many of them are in the same situation you might be in, where you don't have people to play with. Pretty much every time I play free-for-all, I run into a group of people, or slowly build a group of people who want to play team-based games. Now, for me personally, if I'm playing free-for-all nowadays, it's because I'm in the mood to play alone, I'm in the mood to, you know, just run around and slay people and not worry about flipping spawns or anything like that. But... If you're looking for a team, this is a great way to find one. Other ways you can try to find a team are to look at your real-life friends who play Call of Duty as well. And something you need to keep in mind in this situation is the natural leadership roles. Ooh, almost died. You gotta look at the natural leadership roles. Things that, you know, who in your group kind of leads the group anyway? Who in your group kind of is in charge or that people look to? That's what you want to keep in mind. That's what you want to start thinking about as you're kind of looking at the friends you're going to play with because when you start playing team-based games, you want to be... Oh, here comes the fail. Oh, they're on both sides of me. I could hear them on both sides. I didn't know which side he was on. One was in front, one was behind, and I just... Ah, oh, that was so bad. But I got the payback, so I lost my Moab, but hey, I killed the guy who killed me, so that felt good. Anyway, so when you guys are looking at your real-life friends, think about the natural flow of leadership because you always want to play as a team. You know, you, you want to be able to lead each other. It's an important thing to do. 
So as this game is coming to a close, guys, I think I have three or four, five more kills. Uh, just kind of, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you're looking for a team or if you normally play with a team because I have uh, other tips and things and things that I've done in the past that helped me get a team that played very, very well together. I think we had a 318 win streak in Black Ops without dashboarding. Like I think we dashboarded one game where we came in halfway through and it was all red bars. Um, and that was like, yeah, we're out, we're done. I actually still have the gameplay saved of the game where we lost. We lost a demo game on firing range. And uh, it was it was so sad that I actually, uh, I saved it. I said, you know, this is a game worth saving because obviously, you know, this was uh, this was some major mistakes were made and ended up, the basic mistake was we got too cocky and the other team was good. So regardless, guys, that's the final kill. Uh, I think I go 30 and four this game. And uh, definitely not the best score in the history of mankind, but it was a fast gameplay, and I came really close to a Moab. I hope these tics, trips, that tips and tricks, tips and tricks, my voice just broke. I'll be 26 on Saturday. That's unacceptable. Anyway, I hope these tips and tricks were able to help you guys out, and I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below, and definitely let me know if you play with a team normally or not. I'd like to know. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>